Lightning is a giant spark of electricity in space caused by an electrical discharge between two objects with a very large potential difference. According to the National Weather Service, lightning kills an average of 49 people each year in the United States alone and hundreds more are injured. Some survivors suffer lifelong neurological damage. To protect buildings and other structures from damage caused by lightning, we use a lightning conductor. In this animation, I'll explain the basic working principle and the physics behind the operation of a lightning conductor. The lightning conductor consists of a topmost part, or the rod, with sharp pointed ends. These sharp points are very important for corona discharge to take place. The copper strip is connected to the rod and runs down to the ground where it attaches to a copper plate buried in the earth. The copper plate increases the surface area of contact between the earth and the lightning conductor. Meanwhile, the copper strip is thick enough to conduct current to and from the earth with less resistance. Everything is connected to the ground because the earth is large enough and is at zero potential, meaning that it can supply or absorb any amount of charge without significantly getting affected. When a negatively charged cloud, for example, passes over a house, positive charges are induced on the spikes while negative charges are repelled down to the earth through the copper strip and plate to the earth. Because of the high charge density at the spikes, the electric field intensity is too high at these sharp points. This causes ionization of the surrounding air molecules forming a space charge with positive and negative ions. Negative charges are attracted to the spikes while the positive ones are repelled up the cloud, thus discharging it significantly. This whole process is called corona discharge or action at points. After this, the discharged cloud passes over the house safely without causing much damage or any damage at all. In the absence of a lightning conductor, the negatively charged cloud induces a high positive charge on the roof and the walls. Negative charges travel from the cloud to the house. This constitutes a very high electric current accompanied by lightning, thunder and heat which can easily lead to structural damage and loss of life. Thanks for watching this animation. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Tell us in the comments what animation you'd like to see next. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.